All right, here we are, an example A. This is a flashback way back to, man, January, I believe, or February, uh, when after science camp we were dealing with percentages. So there's two methodologies. You can solve this problem using fractions, which I'll do in black ink, or you can do it in the decimal method, which I'll save in green. Let's start right away. In order to save, or to, to do these problems, uh, 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 16% changes to a fraction. Listen carefully and watch. 16 per cent. Cent means 100. 100 means cent. So then we take this fraction and we'll multiply it. 16 per cent of is to multiply. And then 150 is going to be written as a fraction over 1. I will multiply top times top. That's called evaluating. When I evaluate this top, I get 2,400. Let me double check that. Yeah, you do get 24. 2,400. On the bottom, 100 times 1 is 100. Last class, Kevin B. Remember this. When you have dangling zeros, you can cancel each for one. One on the top for one on the bottom. OK? So then here's what you get. 16%, let me summarize, of 150 is equal to 24 over 1, or just simply 24. OK? In green ink, solving this by decimal method, I take 16%. Rather than changing it to a fraction, here it is as a decimal. And then I take 0.16, 16% of 150. And here's me solving that problem. Oh, I did it earlier <laughs> in the Cornell note side. So let me just copy what I got. When I multiplied over here, I got 2,400. So I'll put 2,400. But then since that's a decimal point 0.16, I need to move my decimal point two spots over. So I get the same answer. 16% of 150 is 24. That makes sense to me, because if I have 100% of 150, if I have it all, that means all 150. And so if I take half of that, 50% 50, 50 of 150 is 75. And then even half of that is 25. So it reasonably it makes sense to me. We kind of got a feeling from the other class that, man, coming back to the fraction unit now, here we are in May and doing these problems, we feel really much more better about it. Like, oh yeah, this is doable. We struggled with it back then, but right now it's almost like cakewalk. It's like a breed. Slice of pop. Mm -hmm. How many of you guys, by a show of hands, agree that this is much more easier today than it was back then? All right, good, that's the majority of us. Cool. All right, I'll stop the, All right, I'll stop the